This is the Curiosity rover. Designed initially to explore the crater Gale on Mars as part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission, Curiosity was launched from Cape Canaveral on November 26, 2011, and landed inside Gale on Mars on August 6, 2012. The landing site of the car-sized rover was less than one and a half miles from its touchdown target after completing a 350-mile journey. It would also go on to conduct planetary habitability studies in preparation for human exploration of Mars. Curiosity's two-year mission would eventually be extended indefinitely, and it continues to send back images and data to this day. This mosaic taken at the rover's landing site in the Gale Crater was created by using 27 images from its mass-mounted left navigation camera. Looking at Curiosity's landing site in color reveals the gravelly area surface of the Gale Crater. The terrain falls off into a depression, and beyond that is the boulder-strewn red-brown rim of a moderately-sized impact crater. Farther off in the distance, there are dark dunes and then the layered rock at the base of Mount Sharp. This image from the Mars Hand Lens Imager camera shows a small bright object on the ground beside the rover. The object is about half an inch long and the rover team believes this object to be debris from the spacecraft, possibly from the events of landing on Mars. This is the Shaler outcrop taken during the 120th day of Curiosity's mission. Its dramatically layering pattern suggested evidence of past stream flow in some locations. This is the view of the John Klein location selected for the first rock drilling by the Curiosity team, taken during the afternoon of the 153rd Martian day of Curiosity's mission. The veins shown give rise to evidence of a wet past and are quite common in the flat-lying rock of the area. Called the mini drill test, Curiosity used its drill to generate this ring of powdered rock for inspection in advance of the rover's first full drilling. Curiosity performed the mini drill test during the 180th Martian day of its mission. This is Mount Sharp, also known as Aeolus Mons. It's a layered mound in the center of Mars Gale Crater, rising more than 3 miles above the floor of the Gale Crater. Lower slopes of Mount Sharp were a major destination for the mission, where it searched for evidence of a past environment favorable of microbial life. This is a view of an outcrop called Point Lake. The outcrop is about 20 inches high and pockmarked with holes. Curiosity recorded this 20 component image for this mosaic on the mission's 302nd Martian day. This scene combines seven images from the telephoto lens camera on board Curiosity. The images were taken on the 343rd Martian day of the mission. The rover had driven 205 feet the day before to arrive at the location providing this vista.
This mosaic of images are from geological members of the Yellowknife Bay Formation and the site where Curiosity drilled into the lowest lying member called Sheepbed at targets John Klein in Cumberland. The scene has the Sheepbed mudstone in the foreground and rises up through Gillespie Lake member to the Point Lake outcrop. These rocks record superimposed ancient lake and stream deposits that offer past environmental conditions favorable for microbial life. Rocks here were exposed about 70 million years ago by removal of overlying layers due to erosion by wind. This scene combines images taken during the mid-afternoon of the mission's 526th Martian day. The sand dune in the upper center of the image span a gap called Dingo Gap between two short scarps. This look back at a dune that the Curiosity drove across was taken during the 538th Martian day. The rover had driven over the dune three days earlier. The scene combines multiple images taken with both cameras of the mass camera and Curiosity during its 1087th Martian day. Taken at the lower slope of Mount Sharp and spanning from east to southwest, it shows large-scale crossbedding in the sandstone. This is a feature common in petrified sand dunes even on Earth. Curiosity recorded this view of the sun setting at the close of the mission's 956th Martian day. This was the first sunset from the Martian surface observed in color by Curiosity. 